Natalini, Consiglio Nazionale delle Ricerche, and the title of the talk is a multi-scale approach to cell movements. Okay, thank you. And uh, I am quite moved to, to be here because uh, Piero is a long time friend, uh, not only a friend, must in some sense. Because uh, um, when I come back from, from France, I studied in France, I was quite isolated in Italy. Not many people are, were working on, on my topics. And so I met Piero and um, in some sense it was some like opening a window for a new uh, view, a new world in some sense, because uh, uh, it was used to a quite um, serious mathematics, uh, uh, even formal. And uh, starting with Piero, we had fun together, exploring new directions. Uh, and uh, also the way uh, the, 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 the daily confrontation with Piero was very important for me, for uh, my, not only for my career, it's not important, but for my development as a human being. So I'm really grateful to Piero. And uh, it was really life changing for me to meet him. And, uh, and we are connected by many, many link. The one which is hidden for non-Italian people is the fact that we speak the same dialect. So that's, which is very important. And uh, we have a similar volume of speech usually. So uh, interrupt us when we are discussing is very difficult. And so that's, so maybe, and um, it's, he was my very uh, companion when we were in some conference because uh, it's always fun to be to dinner with Pierre. So uh, I try to, to escape other people to, to stay with Piero at the same table. And uh, sometimes we, we hide uh, in, uh, I remember in some uh, Osteria in Florence, uh, escaping from, um, I don't know, some boring com company to, to have a, uh, a nice dinner, yeah. So a lot of memories. And uh, also I, I've seen Piero uh, after the earthquake, and uh, I was impressed by this, the strength of Piero, the, the, uh, the possibility to start again after this kind of tragedy. So uh, if we are here, I think that uh, Piero deserves a lot of it, uh, our attention our, uh, for this impressive achievement of GSI, GSSI. So that's, I, I think that's, is also a person who influenced the Italian mathematics, not all Italian. So thanks, Piero, for this kind of uh, example. Okay, so now the, the, the bad part of my talk, the fact that, uh, uh, Piero, more or less you know everything, so you can sleep now <laughs> over this talk. Uh, because uh, you already have seen this more or less, not only, so you have to pay attention because uh, some slides you don't know. So that's, uh, you have to, to, to be careful to understand the where I'm changing my talk. Huh? You have seen it previously. And uh, I, I would like to present some results I, I did in the last 10 years about cell movements and uh, I started even before, but uh, in the last 10 years, I, I tried to, to move towards uh, uh, experiments to real biology, which is difficult because uh, you know, that's a different community and a different language, different um, way to think to science. So uh, in this, today I present some works where essentially we have obtained the Gabriela Britt in my institute, Thierry Paul, in CNRS, uh, Paris Sorbonne, and uh, Marta Menci, who is uh, half at my institute and then uh, also now in Campus Biomedico in Rome. Okay. Um, in the last uh, few years, we assisted to a, a quite important change in the paradigm of uh, uh, 
bio i mean experimental biology because uh, uh, some people introduced the organs on chips so the, the possibility to study cell development on, on in vivo in some sense in in, in silico but it's on, on the chip so you can uh, take movies time lapses of uh, the evolution and try to recreate organs so it's quite amazing the fact that you can uh, uh, so you can prepare this uh, sort of uh, well so one where you put some different cells of different organs try to recreate uh, a, a, a body in in the lab. Clearly, we are at the beginning, so we have no magic here. Uh, the idea is that uh, you 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 try, for instance, to take some uh, liver or uh, I don't know lung cells, and uh, you you study, for instance, uh, tumors and the response of the immune system to to the the, the chemicals produced by the tumor cells. So, I mean, quite limited experiments, but much better than the, 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 the old petri dishes. So we are a step forward with respect to the, the previous experiments. And uh, so that's uh, you know, some free dynamics, uh, some uh, diffusion of chemicals inside of, this, uh, of these devices. And uh, so that's quite interesting field. And the idea, in fact, is to build a, a a, multi a real multi-scale representation of our body, starting from DNA to 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 go up to to cells, and then uh, aggregate of cells and organs, and still now we have not a full understanding of this scale, because usually people what they do, they they focus on just a, a single part. And uh, what happens passing from uh, an aggregate of cells to organs is not fully understood even by clinicians. And the one problem is that, for, for instance, these organ chips are quite popular in, among biophysicists, for instance. But uh, if you speak with clinicians, they say, oh, that's not the reality. That's very far from, from passion. So that's, you have to, to, to deal with the, the, the difference of scale. And still, they they give us a lot of uh, understanding. For instance, in the the use of drugs in, in in medicine. So, I mean, that's we are in the prehistory of, of this stuff. I think that in, in one hundred years, probably people will see to this uh, time to attempts as just the beginning. But still, it's quite science fiction when you see the results of this kind of experiment. So. Um, what do we consider this kind of device uh, taken from some experiments of, of from some colleagues, in part in, uh, in my institution, CNR, National Council of Italy of Science in Italy, and um, and so you have this kind of uh, uh, big chip, which is difficult to fully. For instance, there are no movies of the full chip. Usually, uh, you have just a movie of a small part of the chip. And so you have uh, this kind of picture, and you can see cells moving inside of this uh, uh, of this chip. And uh, uh, so there are a lot of experiments uh, studying what happens when you you give some drugs to the, to the cells. For instance, so you knock out immune cells or you knock out the tumor cells. Usually, you you put cells in different chambers, which are connected by small channels where the, 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 which mimic, in some sense, the membrane in our, our body. And so you, you can see that, thanks to the, the chemicals, you have a passage from, uh, uh, here you have, uh, for instance, melanoma. Here you have uh, these spleen cells. And uh, when you knock out the, the, the spleen cells, so you have nothing, you have just a random movement. But otherwise, you have a this trajectory with, with, which you can follow in the, in the real time, in the, the time lapse. So there are some data, the position of the cells, for instance, but it's very difficult to uh, 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 probe the, the, the presence of chemicals. So the, the, usually the, we are missing the, the, the gradients, which are very useful for us to understand the, 
the, the, the, the communication of the sense of different family of cells. Okay, so um, here we have our experiments. So our colleagues, uh, uh, they they uh, are physicists essentially, but uh, with the help of biologists, they produce uh, this uh, kind of movie, which is clearly accelerated. It's like hours, two days, more or less. So you have a sense coming from uh, immune cells coming from this chamber, going to the tumor cells. Um, let's stop here. No. Perché passo all'altra parte? Mi cambio schermo. OK. No, no, ragazzi. Ti ci faccio poi. Okay, here you have the, 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 the tumor cells, which is these big cells, because the tumor cells are very big and the human cells are, are very small. And uh, and so, um, so the, these are the data we are, in our from our experiments, we have no other data. We know the nature of the cells, the dimension, and so on. We can also study the movement. So, in fact, there are the immune cells are not all the same. In the, in the following, I will think the immune cells are all uh, the same type, but in the reality, we have four different types of cells. So, it's not so simple. But this is the, the beginning. So we want an understand how to model this kind of, uh, of experiment and also uh, to understand how to, to, to predict the behavior if I, I move the, the cancer cells, for instance. Then, okay. Um, so this uh, is a, a first model which is uh, completely bogus in some senses. I mean, we, um, I discovered this in this year because I started uh, to study microbiology something like 20 years ago. And what I, I did was to study the previous papers by mathematician, which is natural. We have, uh, uh, I mean, we have a tool and we, we just use this tool to understand the new reality. And uh, so, I mean, the, the first attempt is to use a Keller seal like model to, uh, to try to, to uh, understand what happens. And here, for instance, uh, we have a different uh, kind of uh, cells. We have tumor cells, T, the macrophages, so the immune cells, and the tumor cells diffuses and uh, they, they die. And uh, they are also influenced by Omega, which is a chemicals produced by immune cells. And uh, the, 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 the immune cells are, uh, uh, here I miss a phi, okay. And uh, they are directed by a signal produced by the tumor cells. So they are connected in a linear way. And um, it's a very simple model. Well, the, the cells move because they diffuse and uh, the immune cells, they move because also they have some, they follow some gradient. Okay, that's a possible model. Quite similar to uh, I, I 2000 papers about uh, math biology. But the fact that, uh, so we, we try to here to, to, to do some numerics and uh, to, to understand also it's possible to, to prove that the system, there are some analytical results, but it's not important. And uh, what you have is uh, uh, you start from um, here to calibrate the model, you have to, to consider that you have discrete data and a continuous model. So first of all, you have to, to use kernel density to sample the, 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 the position of the cells to recreate the density of cells and that you minimize some, some uh, functional to, to calibrate the parameter 
to uh, recover. Uh, so it's possible. It's possible. You can do that. It's a long work. It was the thesis of one of my PhD students for three years anyway. And I have to learn a lot because it's not completely my field. And uh, so you have something like that uh, where you, you can uh, see that you, in some sense, you can follow the movement of cells by density, which is um, because we first we track the cells and we recover the data. We, we calibrate the model to obtain this kind of, uh, of results, which is uh, apparently quite satisfactory in, in first attempt. Um, the, the results are quite stable in minimizing the functional, but we have not the perfect fit in, in this kind of uh, attempt. Um, and here, because when you have to explain even to some physicists what you did, you have to present like with cells because we start from cells, we have to come back to cells. So um, when uh, we presented uh, and so we can sample the density and you can just give a representation. So the, uh, on, uh, on uh, uh, my right, you, you see the, the, the reality and uh, the red are the immune cells and the blue are the cancer cells and the, the, the simulation, the, the artificial. And you see that we have a good agreement, but not so much. And still we have 20% uh, of error anyway in our model. So it's not completely satisfactory. And in particular, what happens is the fact that you, you have a very poor understanding of the interaction between cells. Because the only interaction between cells is a chemical signal, and it's okay. But uh, I mean, just diffusion is the, I mean, the movement of cells is, is modeled by diffusion, which is not correct. If you take a eukaryotic cell, a stem cell, for instance, and you put in some uh, uh, ground without signal, the, the cell is, is not moving. It's just uh, uh, stuck in, in, in the field. So that's, there's no reason to have this kind of Brownian motion and so on. They are not bacteria. It's completely different. For bacteria, maybe you can have this kind of exploration. But for uh, uh, our cells, uh, our body is, is quite stuck. It's, I mean, uh, there is a sort of stability. Okay, so uh, so what what we did not in the same time. So I mean, there are uh, okay. I'm telling a story, so uh, it's not a, there are sometimes the parallel works, uh, other kind of exploration, but anyway, we we tried some uh, some individual based model where you have. Um, the position of the tumor cells is fixed. For immune cells, you 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 look look at this immune cells like balls, circle. But still, chemicals are, are continuous. So that's uh, I mean an hybrid model, and so it's possible to calibrate on the data. You create a, a from the from the experiments a surface of, of velocity, and so you calibrate the speed according to the surface and so on. But uh, so it's very simple here. We, we put also some, some uh, uh, stochasticity because uh, you, you can see that uh, um, essentially you have uh, many terms. You have, uh, first of all, we have a sort of Newton equation. So we have uh, acceleration of the cells. We are not using, I have to say at the beginning, we are not using first of the models because they can work for, for uh, I don't know uh, for crowds, car dynamics. They oh, even for for uh, for traffic, car traffic. They are used, but for cells, the inertia is important. We tried at the beginning. I, clearly, I started with first of the model, but but I didn't obtain anything. The, the movement of the cells were completely different from experiments. So I have to to pass to the second of the models, and uh, so we are looking at this, the, the forces acting 
on the cell. So we have chemotaxis. Uh, uh, we have interaction between immune and cancer cells. Sometimes there are, I don't know, um, some terms which are uh, attraction, repulsion, and so something like that. And uh, also the alignment of the cells. They 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 interact by 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 the boundaries, so they, they can try to, to, to have alignment. In some previous work with Luigi Preziosi, we studied some uh, in vivo experiments in, uh, in a zebrafish embryo. And uh, in this case, you can see clearly that you have this phenomenal alignment like in Kuka's main equation. So that's term, these terms are important. And some damping, because there, there is uh, some damping on the, on the surface of the uh, the bed of, of, of the, the chip. And uh, so we have this uh, kind of, of, of noise here. Uh, so you, you, you can compare experimental, the pure ODE and, uh, and uh, the stochastic. My opinion, this model is quite um, still incomplete because probably there are levy flights more than burning um, motion. But anyway, that's just an attempt to understand better. And here we have all these kind of microscopic interaction between cells, which are important. So um, that's the model. Now I, I simplify in a, in a sort of a hybrid Keller-Siegel model, where I replace the, the diffusion equation for, for the density with a discrete equation for, for the cells. I keep the chemotaxis term. And, uh, and so we, we have this, uh, so we have here the, the acceleration, just to, I, I, I uncouple the, the equation here. So we have some interaction, which is uh, here is, uh, is some uh, uh, invariant by reference. So, and here you have uh, this uh, term, you can add forces, uh, you can add uh, damping and so on, just, but just to focus on one model. And the, here there is, a, there is the equation coming from uh, the, the uh, chemicals produced by the cells. Now the cells can be the different families. So here I call X, but these are tumor cells, cancer cells, and so on. Now I just uh, just trying to understand a, a, a simple model just to to see what happens. And uh, okay, that's possible to to. To, to give all the global existence, uh, synthetic behavior and so on for this simple model. It's very, we, we did that, but it's not, not hard. But the, here the idea is to, um, to understand if uh, we, when we have a large number of particles, we can first of all extract a, a, a glass of kinetic kind of model. And uh, then if there is a, some hydrodynamic limit, so some microscopic, the idea I remember is the fact that uh, at the end, we want to understand organs. I cannot use this kind of uh, hybrid models to, to see a, a pancreas or, 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 or a liver or a lung, where are billions of billions of cells. So that's, we have to, to scale this model. So first of all, I start without chemotaxis, which is uh, in some sense more studied field. And uh, the, this is the first study with the influence of chemotaxis on this kind of uh, collective behavior of individuals. So uh, there, there is a lot of literature about uh, Lucas Mail. It's a, it's a very uh, new field. And 15 years ago, they started these papers about uh, this, this kind of models. And I, I have to confess that uh, I skipped completely this, uh, this kind of uh, of papers uh, until uh, one day I, I, I rediscover Google's mail with Luigi Preziosi in a paper because we are sloppy, so we didn't read the other papers. And in a conference, somebody presented the model I was studying. And the five years previously, some people already studied the same model and so on. Okay. So, but uh, uh, anyway, the idea is that you have some alignment effect. And uh, so, uh, and uh, this uh, this uh, interaction is decreasing in space, uh, and so um, you have a flow, and so from this flow you can uh, extract a, a sort of uh, uh, first of all a Lyapunov uh, function, and from this Lyapunov function you can uh, 
just uh, uh, try to, um, to find the Vlasov equation. That's, I mean, th th there is an old paper by Ha and Tadmo about that. That's uh, um, quite interesting, the fact that uh, you can give a description just by replacing uh, that the, the, you, you take the empirical uh, um, measure for, uh, for uh, uh, the system, uh, for, for this system, and you find uh, the previous uh, equations. Okay, uh, there's a theorem where the, one of the last version is by Ha uh, Kim and Zhang in uh, uh, 2018. Uh, they found, they, they, they proved that the convergence in the basis I measure of, of the distance of, uh, of this kind of um, uh, approximation. So you, you can pass to, from, from the empirical measure by densifying the, the, the Dirac in some sense to the, to the solution of the Vlasov equation. So that's a rigorous result. And um, with Gary Paul, who was visiting, uh, is now a long-term visitor, visitor in my institute, the last three years or at least, um, we started to, to look at the different approach, which is uh, uh, we consider marginals. So essentially, you, you want to, to take, again, the, the, uh, the flow uh, generated by, by, by the, the discrete system, and uh, you, you, you take the, 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 the new mean equation, and when you take the, the, the marginal, you want to approach the to approach the Vlasov equation by the first marginal of, of this uh, Liouville equation. So it's quite natural approach. By a lot of people uh, uh, did that for for other kind of system. And we tried first to perform without chemotaxis because uh, chemotaxis so we will see is much more difficult. And so we obtained these results, which is a convergence with uh, an estimate of the the speed of convergence, which is a, a, a new result. And uh, um, so you take a, a sort of a, um, initial condition uh, and uh, you, you take the, the first marginal and uh, you replicate uh, in a, in a random, randomized initial condition for, for, the, for the density. You take the tensor product, you take the first marginal and you approximate the, the Vlasov equation with the same initial mean. Uh, and you obtain this kind of com rigorous convergence. Uh, so that's interesting. And uh, what happens? So the main tool is not to what I expected. I, I am quite new in this field, so I learn a lot of from theory. And uh, essentially, what you expect is to do some difference between the solution, but it doesn't work. So what uh, you have to do here is uh, the, this kind of lemma is to use uh, a sort of stability lemma for. Uh, uh, this kind of uh, probability measure, which are invariant by permutation. And so, assume you have two equations, so the Vlasov type, but no local and no local in time. So, here is a bit more general than previous, uh, previous results in this, uh, in this framework. Uh, so, you have a, a sort of a stability uh, results. And the main tool, which is uh, for me interesting, is the fact that. You, you, are, you are using couplings. So you are using the definition of, of uh, Bassestein distance. And uh, that's impressive, this part, because uh, you, are, you are not just making the difference, but you are, you are doubling the variable. You are making the evolution of this, uh, this uh, double variable. So you, and, and you apply the definition of, of uh, Bassestein distance in some sense uh, in this uh, lemma, which is, uh, a sort of a global lemma for, for couplings. And um, is a, it's a tool, quite general tool. We use it also in the, in the following work with the chemotaxis. Um, okay, so um, what happens when we compare this, uh, because that's th the theory, but numerically we want to see if really we have a, this kind of a comparison. So, that's a simulation made by Marta Menci, and you have the particle and, uh, and the comparison with the, the Blasov when you have the fucking case. So 
there are two cases for Cooker's mail. One case where you have alignment, but if one coefficient is too big, you have no alignment, uh, so you have the, the, the dispersion of So here, you see that uh, there's a good correspondence between the particle and the, the Blasov. Uh, okay. Here we have uh, the case where there is no flocking because the, this coefficient is I don't know zero point uh, ninety five, and so you see that uh, we on the vertical axis we have a v, so the, the, the velocity is not going to zero. When we have flocking, v is going to zero. So we have a, so here we have a dispersion because the, the interaction is not enough to to obtain the, the, the convergence. Um, now. We insert the moot axis, and here is is new because first of all uh, we have a no local space time interaction because when you I assume that for instance you solve the equation the, the, the either equation and you insert the gradient which depends in with an integral in space and time from this, the, the, the 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 x the solution of the the the, the ordinary differential equation. And the solution is no more a flow. So you cannot use this approach, Liouville equation, so this machinery, which is quite well known. So we, we, have, we have to insert a pseudo Liouville equation. I skip all the details because they're boring. But anyway, the idea is that you have a special solution, which are the solution given by the empirical measure. So you replace the position by the direct masses. And you approximate the general data just by this, uh, this direct masses. So the idea is not to use a Liouville equation, but a pseudo Liouville, which is solved only by the, the, the initial data given by the direct masses. And, the, and also we have, at least formally, a nonlinear Blasov equation, which is again, non local and with chemotaxis. So that's, uh, and for all these uh, these equations, we can prove global existence of solution and so on. And what we want to prove is convergence. And uh, okay, that's possible. It's possible, and we have a very precise uh, estimate of the, the the convergence in the in the Wasserstein distance and two Wasserstein distance. In particular, it's possible to generalize to uh, the the LP Wasserstein distance. Um, here, the very delicate part is the convergence of, of, of the chemistry. Because, I mean, when you start again, since you have not a flow, you have, a, you have that, that you have a new equation. You can inverse the, 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 the chemotaxis equation. So the, the results is very special. It, it is that you have this, uh, uh, the distance between the gradient of the, the, the the hybrid model uh, and the gradient of the, the chemistry in the, the loss of equation is convergent, but the way the, the measure is given by the position of the part. So you have the, 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 the complete the initial, the, 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 the position all the time of the particle of the hybrid system, the, the D, uh, DZ, which, which are the initial data for the particle. And you have this kind of convergence. Um, okay, that's the result. Uh, what happens in practice? Because uh, here we are speaking about uh, a random initial data, um, invariant by permutation, and so on. So it's quite uh, when uh, you, you you are going to to do numerical uh, simulation, uh, you have a real particle which are distinguishable. So maybe it doesn't work. But uh, we are lucky because we have a quite good uh, behavior. So here we have a, a sort of uh, a particle the hybrid system. Um, that's a special case uh, where they are clustering in two different spots. And uh, okay, what do you expect when we have chemistry is that the, the system is much more stable because what do you expect from, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the, the cell behavior is that you have a, permanent formation, otherwise our organs could uh, 
swim around our body is, would be quite a problem. But anyway, uh, now we want to pass to the macroscopic model, so hydrodynamic, because um, kinetic is difficult to be simulated in 3D and so on. We want to understand density as in the field of velocity. So we are approaching hyperbolic problems. And uh, <clears throat> so the first idea, which was um, performed by a lot of people, but uh, there are recent work by, I don't know, Carrillo, and um, also Figali studied this, this case where the initial density for the Vlasov is monokinetic. So, which is not physical in the sense that uh, there is no reason that the the, the velocity of the cells depends on the posi on the position. So on, on the field, uh, probably each cell move, uh, for the, 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 the speed is just given by previous condition. But that's a particular case. So we can prove that if there is a solution for this uh, Euler non-local system, but with no pressure, so quite critical system from the hyperbolic point of view, then, the solution, so the, the, the density and the speed are uh, in connection. In particular, okay, you have that the density times the Dirac masses of a V minus the velocity of the system is a solution of the, 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 the Vlasov equation. So we have a, a, a there is a, just a strong connection, but clearly, there is an if, if there is a solution. So we cannot prove, it's quite difficult to prove that there is a solution. And even if for a short time, you can prove the solution. What you expect is a blow up of, of, of the density or even the creation of shocks and so on. If you have a small solution for the, the, the hydrodynamic system, so you have a correspondence with uh, the blast of. But, the problem is that what I, I, I'm looking for is a credible model for the macroscopic case. So I'm not happy. So I, I want to, to use this information to build up a new model, which is, uh, I mean, better than Keller Siegel. Okay. Um, so uh, first of all, we we compare just uh, these two models. There is no reason they work uh, because. Uh, I, I take the, the, the non local Blasov equation, I, I take the first two momenta, so the density and the, 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 the velocity, and I compare with the solution of this non local hydrodynamic equation. But clearly, there is no reason because I, I'm, I'm neglecting the, the second order momentum, for instance. So, in principle, it doesn't work. And uh, in fact, uh, but if. Can I ask you, uh, can I ask you a question? But... Yeah. Yeah, what do you mean that uh, let's say in the in the, um, let's say in in nu you have uh, psi that is evaluated at time t and then uh, yeah. you have this uh, ds psi s uh, so yeah just, just that uh, let you take you take as initial data you you are comparing the first momentum of the Vlasov the, the zero momentum of the Vlasov the first momentum of the Vlasov with the density and the speed for the 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 sorry the um, quantity uh, the the um, the momentum uh, the first momentum of the non-local hydrodynamic equation you are just comparing these two as uh, for Boltzmann equation you take the integral in in c in the speed uh, you are just integrating that's all because you cannot compare one is kinetic uh, and so living in a space of where the, you have uh, X and V and the other one. So we have to integrate Okay. So take the, the case of the theorem. In the case of the theorem, it works because you have that. In the case of the theorem, you take uh, the almost uh, monokinetic initial data because uh, you cannot take Dirac numerically. And uh, no chemotaxis, no damping, it wor it's work. Uh, but say you, if you put chemotaxis and you have no damping, you see that here, you are no, no longer monokinetic because here we are V and X, and here we have no more a function. 
So clearly we have a, we start to see a difference between the two representation in the moment. So it, we have to add something. We have to take into account the fact that the solution is not really monokinetic in the reality. And, um, but if you, if you put damping, it helps a lot because damping is uh, essentially is uh, putting to zero the second, or the second momentum of the equation. So the temperature is going to zero because there is damping. So it helps a lot. Um, so when we want to compare, we see that no chemotaxis, no damping, there is no convergence. When we have a no, we have chemotaxis and no damping, but for large times, for some initial data, we can have some similar behavior. So it's, I mean, but I'm not satisfied from, from this, uh, the no, non monokinetic uh, case. So the idea is to compare what uh, already exists, another model which is quite used in vasculogenesis, the, the Preziosi model, which is a Euler with chemotaxis. And uh, we see the difference because, because here we have a, uh, we had a, a non-local term and uh, Preziosi, uh, I mean, in some sense, uh, uh, col collected all the, the, the interaction in the pressure term, which is not really explained by, microscopic principle. So the idea is just uh, to, to mix the two models by adding a small pressure, I don't know, a small pressure here, in, uh, yeah, here, and to see if uh, we obtain something which is uh, similar to our experiments in the non-monokinetic case. Um, and the comparison when there is no damping is quite bad anyway. And in particular, for some epsilon, there is a good agreement uh, here, and, but still the, the velocity is too, too large. We have not really a convergence. But when we have damping and this small pressure for some epsilon, we can recover something. So like this, this term is taking into account for the second momentum, which are neglecting here, just uh, so the idea is that this kind of models can would be useful in the future to perform a more general simulation of organs. So to scale our knowledge, we can calibrate the microscopic model. We can keep the the the, the interaction in the non-local way. So the the non-local term is containing all the microscopic information, but we have we have to add some pressure to avoid the blow up of solution, to avoid all the, the, the mess which can arise by neglecting the second momentum. Okay, so um, I think that the, the, the idea of, of this line of research is that, okay, passing from microscopic to Vlasov is quite good. It's a good model, but it's not really possible to use this model to, to, to do a, a prediction at the, at the organs level. Um, clearly, the monokinetic case is not physical, and anyway, you break the monokinetic case can just uh, can be used for, for short times or for special initial data, it's not, not really interesting. And uh, the idea is to, to use some form of pressure. Maybe you can try to model better this kind of pressure we add to the system to stabilize the system. And this kind of model are much more effective than the color seal, which were used before. And the clearly damping is very important and uh, is, it is biologically uh, meaningful because uh, in fact, we have a lot of damping uh, of these cells, which uh, they, they sometimes they even, uh, uh, they are, uh, um, St they are stuck on the the the, the, uh, the ground of the of the bed of the, the 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 chip. Okay, I can stop here. Some references, and I want to say auguri, Nero, for your birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. And is there any question?
Mientras. Yes, thank you very much. Um, it's more a curiosity. Um, I, I guess the equations were for one uh, species, but the pictures were for two different sizes of the spheres. Yeah. So I was wondering whether this is something that we are considering, you are expecting interesting effects out of uh, different... And the second question, very quickly, uh, I guess on the simulation level that you had all these layers of the channels, whether you have some kind of feeling or some quantification on the dependence on the number of channels. Yeah, okay. So I start from the last question. Um, I, okay, I had to skip a lot of, of details for instance, in the, the, the microscopic model, in the channels, we use an hyperbolic model of chemotaxis, a Catania model, because uh, um, the, the, the diameter of the channels is uh, at, uh, almost the same of the, the diameter of the, the cells. So, I mean, we tried with different, but the behavior can change, okay? But it is difficult to predict the law, a general law. But it can change because the geometry is very important. In this. Uh, we also simulated, I didn't show, the full ship. And uh, so you, we can see the, the cells moving, but it's not realistic in the sense that we have no data. So we just uh, calibrated on a small uh, portion of the ship, and then we simulated the full ship. And the number of channels is important. So, OK. Uh, the other question is, uh, OK, here I focus on, on just uh, one kind of cells. Clearly, it is possible to, uh, but this, this uh, uh, it depends on the functions. Because uh, when I pass into the limit, clearly, I, I am assuming that uh, all the cells are the same. When you, you have two different kinds of cells, it's much more tricky. So I, I don't know. But at the, at the level of uh, numerical experiments, it works. That's, there's no problem. We already tried to, to do tumor cells so with hydrodynamic model, the glass model, with many cells and so on. It's much more difficult to, to prove because uh, you have not, they are not undistinguishable. So that's, uh, it, which is the assumption we use it to pass into the limit. So, okay. Uh, the small are small and the big are. A different scale. You introduce a different yeah. scale to the system. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I mean, if they are of the same order, uh, I guess it's similar. No, but, but I mean, if you can, see, when you have the microscopic, you can simulate what you want. The problem is the fact that uh, it's difficult to 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 compare because, I mean, when you deal with uh, I don't know, one billion cells, uh, even the simulation is hard. So. I, I I'm not a, a, a reply on this. I understood that the two different kind of cells, no, a different scale. So the different scale, I don't know. My feeling is that since already the microscopic, the trivial microscopic work on the uh, microscopic case, it's possible to do the, the opposite. But then you have to compare with the real organs. Um, now, for instance, we have a large scale project in Italy uh, with the biologists and physicists uh, and even clinicians uh, with a, an English name, because in Italy now we, we are using English name everywhere. So it's D3 for health. And we are um, constructing this project, a, a 3D model of, a, of glioblastoma, which is a, a cancer of the, the brain. And, uh, and uh, we are trying to simulate this one. In, so, it is quite a microscopic because you can see uh, it. And so we have to maybe next year. <laughs> Any other question? Yes. Uh, mine is just a curiosity regarding the very last uh, transparency that you showed. No, not this one about the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Uh, no, the one before. So, as regards the um, the role of dissipation, the friction, yeah. basically, in making the kinetic and the aerodynamic description closer to one another, is it perhaps so because increasing the dissipation uh, somehow increases also the the time scale separation between uh, the low and fast moments of the distribution function or not? 
my feeling is that you are just killing the second momentum. So you are approaching the, 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 the I mean, the assumption of the, the, of the, the monokinetic case. So in the, in the hand, you reach the monokinetic case, but you have to add something because without the pressure, we know that uh, the, 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 uh, no pressure gas are, are the zero pressure gas are exploding. So that, that's uh, the, the, the way to add some, some new term. Maybe it's just a phenomenological uh, approximation. I don't think it's a problem of scale because uh, sometimes the blob can be very uh, at short time. It depends on the initial data. So it's more a dissipation of energy. Okay. Any other question? Okay, Roberto. Mine is a bit related to the one of Matteo. The, in the sense that, uh, uh, of course, uh, you put this uh, pressure uh, because uh, we know the trouble of a uh, pressureless gas. <laughs> so we learn that <laughs> since we are kids. And, uh, and, uh, but at this point, uh, the, the, the killing of the second order moment uh, creates a sort of a balance between the dissipation and the pressure that you are there. Uh, and this is going to happen in certain time scales. It's not uh, totally, although this killing uh, happens, it takes a little time to do that. So in this sense, uh, uh, it is important uh, the, the order of a parameter you put in front of the pressure, because clearly you can regulate this time scale, putting a sort of artificial constant in front of the pressure, and then decide how strong, because this decides how strong is the pressure to balance that, uh, how fast is this yeah, feeling? The, the, numerical, uh, the numerical study is to find the optimal epsilon to, to, to drive, drive the, the equation. I mean, and, and that's, I, I, I agree with you that you have to understand how to balance the dissipation and pressure, okay? And also the, we have no the presence of non-local term. For instance, here we are just using alignment, but for, for some reason, because we are the simulation are in 1D and, and attraction repulsion in, in 1D is a nightmare, so it's difficult. But in the reality, uh, attraction repulsion is much more important. Maybe, maybe, that's my conjecture. And uh, in some uh, preliminary numerical attempt, uh, it's quite confirmed. Uh, only attraction repulsion could replace the pressure. So it depends also on, on the type of uh, no, uh, no local interaction that you are putting in the system. So in the alignment, you have not enough dissipation. So that's why we have to insert pressure. Not enough pressure because if you put too, too much pressure, it, it, it doesn't work. You see, you have uh, quite different results. And the, the, there is this balance that you have to find, uh, but just numerical, is there not, not uh, a deep study about that? Okay. Any other question? Okay, if not, we take okay. a guess, Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> I will enjoy the coffee break and uh, we resume at 11.30.